Hi everybody, this is Katie. Welcome to day three of the Judy hunt. I really thought I was gonna find Judy on day two, but here we are off again, and the first villager is Lily. I love Lily, and she'd be great for the pastel island, but I just recently had her on the botanical island. Villager two for today is Elvis, and he's got a really interesting look to him. I can see themes where he would be great, but I've never had him before. The next one that I find is Doc, and I actually didn't even remember Doc when I found him on the island. I couldn't remember ever running into him before. Oh my goodness, can you believe? Ticket number four for today was Raymond. I might be one of the few people to leave him behind, but I currently have Raymond on my Life of Luxury island, so that made it easier. And then Buck. Buck has really fierce looking eyebrows. He looks like he could be quite a kick on an island. And then Tad, who is a duplicate. And then we have Willow again, who is also a duplicate. And Penelope, another duplicate. And then we run into Rold. The penguins aren't what I'm looking for, but I had Rold on my Christmas island and I definitely recommend him. He was pretty great. And then here we have Roscoe. I really like his name and I like his look. The eyes are a, a little bit red, which I don't love, but it's interesting. And then B, of course, whom we've seen before. And now we have Mitzi. Mitzi was one of them on my list. Her house didn't perfectly fit what I was looking for for the Dreamy Cloud Island, but she, of course, would be wonderful. And then the next one we have here is another lion. I sure ran into a lot of lions. This one is Rory. I get the lions mixed up. There's a couple of them that I get mixed up, and Rory's one of them. And then Tia. Tia was a surprise. I have had Tia before. I have her amiibo card, but I didn't expect to run into her on the, the hunt. I don't know why. She's pretty amazing. Another duplicate, of course. Next up here is Luca. Luca is very red and has the built-in mask design. I'm not a huge fan of the villagers with helmets or masks that can't be changed. And then we have Angus. I think Angus's shirt is so funny with his name. He makes me giggle, but definitely not going to invite him. And then Nate. Nate was the very first villager that I had a hard time kicking, so he's not horrible, but he will forever, never, ever come to my islands again. And then Peanut. Peanut is adorable. If her pink weren't quite so bright and her house fit a little bit better, she could have been a fun choice. And then Rizzo, whom we've seen a couple times already. Tucked up here is Jeremiah. Jeremiah is really cute. I love his mouth. I love the blue color. And if his house fit again, he would be a good choice. And then we have Eugene. Eugene is on my Life of Luxury Island. I've actually liked him more than I thought that I would. He's been kind of a fun villager to have on the island, and I've been giving him different sunglasses. And then we have Egbert. Egbert just makes me feel a little bit of wholesome pittiness for him. I don't know why. And then on this island here, we have Cole. Cole has really big buck teeth, but the rest of the design on this villager is actually pretty terrific. I still do love the frogs, but Prince is not my favorite frog. I just am not a fan of any of the villagers that have that beard shadow look to their face. And then this one here is also on my Life of Luxury Island. Annalisa has been real sweet. She spends most of her days watering the flowers, which is absolutely adorable. And then we run into Lolly. Lolly is perfection. And I have had her several times now and I have her amiibo. So she's not coming to the island this time, but she pretty much fits every theme. And then we have Flurry, who was our first villager, is a duplicate. And then we have another duplicate, so many lions today. And then Humphrey. Humphrey is such a funny villager. He was on my very first island and he really grew on me. I don't know why. 
Next up is Clyde. Clyde is actually a duplicate, but I, I couldn't see him perfectly well from the angle, so I did go ahead and talk to him again. I was also starting about this time to forget who I'd seen already. Daisy is definitely pastel, not the house that I was looking for, and is actually a little bit odd looking with the eyebrows. Not my favorite. And then Tank, I love Tank. I love the leaf on his head, and he's got a really pretty color, so he would be a wonderful addition to most islands. And then this here is Snooty. Snooty is got such a funny name and color scheme and has been made famous by some other content creators and I can't help giggling every time I see Snooty. Frank is a duplicate and then Marina who of course is another duplicate and then we have Whitney. Whitney is one of the five villagers I'm considering that I'm gonna let you guys vote on. Look here, you can see that beautiful color. I love that her dress comes in blue. Her house is also perfect. This is Boris. I think Boris is pretty great and I didn't talk to him because I hadn't realized he wasn't a duplicate. Wendy is a wonderful sheep. I love Wendy, perfect colors. And then this is Lyman. Lyman is actually really good for jungle themes. His house has a lot of character to it if you haven't seen it before. Hiding up here in the trees is one of our monkeys. This is Simon. Simon's actually not so bad. I think he's kind of cute, but isn't anywhere close to what I'm looking for with my pastel island. This is Celia. Celia has a green that's just a little bit too bright, but otherwise she was someone I was considering to move in. Then Naomi, who is both a duplicate and not one of my favorites. Marcel, who is also not one of my favorites. I just can't enjoy the way that his character was put together. <laughs> And then this is Bangle. I really love Bangle. I hope that I have an island theme someday where she fits because I can definitely see me inviting her onto the island. And then this here is a cute little penguin, Iggly. Obviously, I'm not looking for penguins, but he is such a crack up. Look at that little face. And then Chevra. Chevra's a duplicate, but again, one that we're thinking of. And then Rizzo, who is also a duplicate. And then we have Dietri. Dietri is very sweet. I don't love the white lipstick, but her house is amazing, and she's a really soft, beautiful villager. This is Big Top. I actually was hunting for Big Top when I was doing my green island but he's definitely not gonna work for Pastel Island. Then we have Tammy. Tammy is another one of the monkeys. I don't think I love the red in her eyes. Her whole entire look is just a little bit complicated, but she's probably very sweet. Angus is a duplicate, but I just kind of ran around the corner, so I went ahead and talked to him. And again, I'm starting to forget who's duplicates. Can you believe Angus again on the next island? I won't forget that one. And then we have T-Bone, who is also a duplicate. <laughs> and then we run into Knox. Knox's look is so unique. I love villagers that fit good themes, if that's the theme you're going for. And then here we have Kabuki. Again, Kabuki is very good for certain themes, uh, but definitely not for my pastel island. Next up here, Oh, I just can't with Harry. I I feel like the, the beard and the hair and Harry's just maybe a little bit too hairy for me. <laughs> then Whitney, who at this point is a duplicate, but still really elegant choice. I love Bertha. She is such a sweet little hippo. This is Soleil. She is great if you're gonna do a really brightly colored island that fits during the summer. And I can see some really good themes where she would be perfect. Then Pudge. Pudge is taunting me. Pudge is not Judy. 
And then Wolfgang. Wolfgang is interesting. I don't think I've run into him before, so it was fun to see him in person. All right, you guys, that is it for day three of the Judy hunt. I can't believe it has gone this far. I was able to find a couple more cicadas today while I was hunting and picked up bottles on the beach just like the previous couple days and found a ton. Look at this here. I have 14 new DIY recipes that I found, including a couple that I really like, so that was useful. I hope you guys found something useful here and that you continue creating in this game. Until next time, have the best Animal Crossing day.